All right, y'all. Sorry about that. Had a phone call. Um, but anyway, while I was on the phone, look what I did, y'all. My spool is on there. And like I said, y'all, I don't know how well this is going to work. It's just something kind of temporary. But this is a have-to situation, survival situation only. And y'all, I ain't going to lie to you. It's just kind of something, you know, like I said, I've been watching these guys on these shows and um, everybody's got a cane pole or a bottle with a uh, uh, fishing line wrapped around it, a uh, stick, you know, and tell y'all what I did. I just wired this around the handle, left enough slack in there where my spool will actually unrope. Well, hopefully, when I'm fishing, this is going to be against my hip, and I can reel this thing back in. All right, and like I said, y'all, it's just something I kind of wanted to do. I've been messing with, kind of curious about, and uh, kind of show y'all what I did. Now this is just this is just a roll of 20 pound monofilament, 20 pound test line, um, just fishing line I had here at the house. And um, like I said, y'all, I've been out messing around, thinking about this. I, I actually started working on this a couple months ago, and uh, of course I showed you. I put the eyes. Got my string run through it. Another eye right there with the string run through it. And then one on the end. And on the end, for right now, just for practicing, I got a weight on there, a sinker. But uh, I don't know if it's going to work or not, y'all, but I'll tell you what. I don't know if y'all going to be able to see. Uh-oh, we got a tangle. Of course, that happens even when I got a modern rod and reel, y'all. <laughs> but uh, anyway, here's what I'm going to try to do. See if this thing will cast out. Look at there, y'all. <laughs> How about that? Which it didn't go about 25, 30 foot down through there, but you know, y'all, a lot of places these people's at, they ain't fishing no farther than that out anyway. So anyway, we're going to see if this thing will reel in a little bit. And that's all I plan on doing, y'all, just pull and reel. It may be a little harder with a fish on, but I may actually do a video testing this out. But I just wanted to kind of do something to show, you know, a little bit of ingenuity, show that I can do something a little different. And, you know, like I always say, y'all, sometimes it's about thinking outside the box. It's about using what you got around you. And, um, you know, like I said, find a stick like this growing just about anywhere. Um, the wire, they will let you take trapping wire to the show. That's one of the things I'd have. I would have the Leatherman tool with me. And y'all, that's all I used other than the fishing line. I mean, um, it may not be as great as a modern open face or bait cast or nothing like that, but uh, y'all, I think it's a pretty good idea myself. And just something I'm sitting around here messing with. And you know, like I said, the more I see these people on these shows, the more interested I get and the more confident I get that I can do just about anything they can, y'all. And um, anyway, y'all, that's my version of a survival rod and reel. Cast out, reel in, and I believe man had a little hook and bait on there, he could probably catch some fish. But anyway, y'all, like I said, I just want to kind of do a little short video, show y'all what I was doing. Um, you know, kind of a new idea, something I've been messing with for, like I said, I started this a couple months ago, and y'all know the situation. I haven't been around because of my job. And, um, but like I told y'all, things are getting better. I'm trying to do videos and more and more videos. Actually, earlier today, I started to make another video, but um, I was in the house, um, hot and everything, y'all. <laughs> I'll be honest with you, I've been making pickles and um, pickling hot peppers and stuff like that today. That's what I that's what I done this morning. And then I got out here this afternoon and wanted to put some kind of video on YouTube for you guys. Um, like I said, that's my version of a survival rod and reel. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Hope you get a kick out of it. Um, I'd like to tell y'all I appreciate you watching. If you would, please like and subscribe to our videos. And I'll see y'all next time.